Hi guys, it's your girl Nisha, back at it again with another video, and we need to talk about something. Go fly, they fly, they China was going to be a, a get ready with me or because I wanted to make the video interesting while I'm talking because it's just going to be a talking video I'm just going to talk about some things because you know yeah I made my 20 facts about me but I feel like you guys can't really get to know me like personally unless you like have a sit down conversation with me um I know I kind of look a mess a hot mess a well but I really wanted to make this video and I really wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like I took information for myself for myself and I wanted to give it to you guys on what I've learned and just basically tell you how I've been feeling why I've not been making as many videos and just so on you know just catch up on life because this is this content is what I want you guys to see of me and there's always been a reason why I never did personal content like this on YouTube because there's so many people that have my YouTube channel that I don't want have my won't have it, that I don't want to have my YouTube channel. And actually, this is my second time filming this video, but I decided to refilm it because I feel like um, the first time I filmed it wasn't as good. So let's hope this second time will be okay. <laughs> the past probably a few weeks, I've been really, really depressed. I've been so sad. I've been so down and so sad and a lot of people don't really know about it and I haven't really told many people because I feel like there's nobody I can really go to and everybody I went to they're like Nisha you're the one you're the happy one you're possibly the one encouraging people and you know, people just tell me to get over it and you'll be okay it's just a point of life and you know I just kind of held into this depression where I was forced to handle it myself and you know I end up did handle it myself so you know it was just Scratched from um, trying to save up money for school, for college, and trying to save, 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 you know, trying to like find out who I am, and just basically, it was a lot of stuff psychologically. I can't say that word. And also, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure nobody really knows, but oh, I am graduating this month out of high school. I would graduate on December 20th. I finished most of my classes. Um, so I'm taking online classes and regular school classes, so, like I'm doubling up, and that's how I'll get to leave earlier. So I've been the stress of that and just figuring out and applying for college. So I'm going to tell you guys like what I want to do in life and what I want to be in life because a lot of people don't really know what I want to be in life. And when I do tell people what I do want to be in life, I get judged heavenly. So I feel like I have to tell what I want to do in life for you know for me to kind of tell the story. So, in life, I want to be a movie director, film director, actress, a producer, a film writer. For all of this in one, I want to be able to write my own films, I want to be able to produce them, I want to be able to direct them, and I want, in some of them, not all, I want to be able to act in them. Because it's always been a dream of mine since I was little to act, and it's something that stuck with me for a lifetime. Like, yeah, I had other dreams, but you know, this is one of the main dreams I want to do in life, and it's something I want to do completely. And one of those goals um, I want to attend is in South Korea. One of the film schools I want to attend is in South Korea. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, why Korea? Why do you want to go there? Why you can? There's so many film schools here in America. Why Korea? And um, because I like the way Korean movies are filmed. I like the way Korean movies are. I just like really, really like Korean movies, and I like the way. If you ever watch some Korean movies, they are really good. And what I mean about that, like Korean movies, you wouldn't expect it. That's what I really fell in love with. At the end of the movie, it's like, oh my gosh. Like, I would never expect that. It's just always some plot twist through turn. And I would love to be able to... I have made... Or everybody knows I write movies. So, like, I have made movies in that kind of script writing um, inspired by Korean movies. So, I really would love to be able to make also Korean movies and movies... English movies, like movies in America, and also have movies come out in Korea and be like this multi different language, everything. You know, that's my dreams and my hopes. And you know, I've been really trying to apply for the school in Korea, um, but you know, money is a big problem because 
you can't just move to a country without money so I've been saving up lots of money and it's just stressful because you know with some Korean colleges you need around ten thousand dollars but you know there's ways around it the college I'm going to um, I don't want to say the college name right now but it's not one of the top schools in Korea it's not Korean University, Korean. It's not Korean University, Seoul University, or Yonsei University. It's the most lesser known school, but if I get accepted, I will let you guys know. But there are a lot of lesser known colleges out there in Korea that don't require that much money. So that part has been okay. But one of the main problems is like the living expenses in a place I want to live is kind of, you know, and it's hard for us to get a job as foreigners or as you know, people, other non-teaching jobs in Korea is really, really hard. So I've been kind of dealing with that, but I'm making my way through here. Also, I've been, um, I should say this going to be really long, but I've been feeling, um, kind of weariness, not weariness, I've been feeling kind of confused in life. And that was one of the main things I had depression on. Um, basically... I let people, other people, put their input on my life, and a lot of people, especially on YouTube, when people will comment like, oh, you know, you're such a Korea boo, you're so, you need to stop trying to be Asian, you, he would never do this, you never do that, and also, stuff like that, and it got to me really bad, and I let it get to me really bad, and I was like, Thinking to myself, like, Nisha, all these times you dodged these same allegations people had against you in real life. Why are you letting people on the internet get to you? And you know, I had to think to myself, like, yeah, why am I letting these people get to me? You know, a lot of people like to comment, like, when I made my whole black K-pop, um, not black K-pop, when I made my whole K-pop star, when I told about how I almost became a K-pop art star, that was a lot of the comments, like, oh, you're not Asian, though, you're black. And, y'all, I'm so so petty but you know I'm petty and I just want to comment something back but you know there's this inside of me I'm just like you know what they don't deserve your time or day they're not important mm -hmm. forget them yeah Nisha forget them another thing I was about the Korea book thing you know people really really love to throw that word around just because somebody does their makeup a certain way just because somebody wants to learn a different language or just because somebody wants to be interested into a different culture or be able to travel different places does not mean they want to erase who they are and one of the things that makes me so mad a lot of people like to comment like oh you're ashamed of who you are how am I ashamed of who I am like literally if you watch see and the point is if they don't watch your videos they're just commenting on one second they see on your life or just commenting on a picture of you coming to you in a video, you're coming to you on something, they're seeing you 0.1000% of you and they don't know 100% of you. So their validation of you does not matter. Their points of view does not matter. Their comments on you does not matter whatsoever. Like, it's so funny because this turned into like a how I feel to feel but it turned into like a, uh, like a, I don't know, like a free joke. Like, I got really fed up. And people really need to understand, if you guys want to be something in life, you know, people keep telling me, you're black, you can't go to Korea, or you're, you're black, you can't do this, or you can't do this because you look this way. If there's something you want to do in life, no matter if you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, no matter what your race and your nationality, don't let it stop you. Because your race did not determine your limits okay the color of your skin does not tell me what the things you can do you know people can say oh you know you, you're this you can't do that you people won't like you because you're this don't worry about other people opinion and i let this get to me and i let it bring me down to depression where it was the point i was crying at night just so sad and just depressed like and i had nobody to talk to and so i just talked to myself i know it sounds crazy but when i was just to myself just talking like thinking and you know i realized this i only have like one life to live and i have to live it the way i want to these people do not get two lives i don't get two lives they they shouldn't get two lives they don't have a say so in my life they're not going to ruin my life because it's my life and you only have one life so you have to live it the way you want to you only have one chance you know and don't let whatever the 
way you look, the way you act, your disabilities, anything get to you. You know, people always talk about the way I talk because I have a speech problem and everybody's like, oh, why you talk like that? Or why are you, why, why are you, why are you funny? You know, something like that. And like, people always try to make fun of how I pronounce things. And you know, love them. I don't care, you know, they can talk about you know my dis my speech problem but I, I mean so i'm going to prove them yeah you can talk about this but that doesn't mean anything to me and i really had to understand that and i had to think to myself you know these people kiki and her trying to be this if there's something you want to be i don't care if you want to be an actress in germany if you want to go to Zimbabwe and start a multi-billion dollar company. If you want to move to Korea and do show business, if you want to be able to run an oil company, do not let the color of your skin, do not let the way you look, do not let your gender, do not let anything be able to put what you want to do on a pedestal because it is your life, like I said. And people like to put people in boxes. It is literally 2018 and people are still making a big deal out of certain things I don't need to make, make a big deal out of. You know, and if people back in the day had that same mentality and thinking, oh yes, I'm this, so I can't be that. This world would be terrible if people always listen to what other people opinions, you know? Like, well, if there wasn't people that, you know, fought for rights, Certain women, certain people wouldn't have rights, you know. As a black woman, I, oh, sorry, I'm a girl. As, a, as like, as me, I wouldn't have rights I had today if people in the past never fought for me. And if people listen, and those people in the past, if they never fought for me and they listen to what other people say, it can affect the future. And all I'm saying is, there's no reason for us to feel unhappy with, you know, there was no reason for me to feel unhappy or anything because of what other people say. Their words are just words. At the end of the day, they don't mean anything. If the best thing you can do is to prove them wrong and live the life you want to live, no matter what, okay? So, if there's something you wanna do, do it. You know, and I let them people get to me. And I was literally on the edge of thinking about like quitting my whole dream. And I thought to myself, there's nothing else you want to do in life but this. So what are you going to do in life? Are you just going to sit there with your mom and be, you know, living with your mom forever? She's going to kick you out anyway. <laughs> Hope not. Well, she will not kick me out. You know, I will go ask her, but I don't want to ask her. But, um, yeah, I just really wanted to say that. And I know I sound like I'm preaching. But I was just really feeling depressed and I was sick. And another thing with the whole career book, I can be into different cultures. I can be into different um, languages. I can want to learn a different languages. If I know who I am and I respect it, if I know who I am and I don't lose touch in who I am and I know my background or whatever and if I'm not harming myself or others then whatever you should you whatever you like or interested in is perfectly fine as long as you know who you are what other people say doesn't matter and I literally have to learn that you know people always like to say that, oh you're Korean boo and I actually have the Korean boo word blocked on my channel so if you try to like call me that because I really got sick of saying that and people throw that word around so much that it loses its meaning like oh you're such a Korean but Koreans won't like you da 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 um pick people are people and also I felt really really upset and sad because in where I'm living now I don't have many friends here um also a lot of the so-called close friends the so-called friends i had in school you know they're all getting accepted into colleges and i'm happy for them but also while i'm happy for them i felt the sadness towards myself because i felt like oh you know they're gaining about you know getting into college and you know nisha you're still trying to save and make sure you have everything right so you can do this and i really compare my life to others and i have to realize you know you can't compare your life to other people. Everybody is living a different, everybody is running a different race at different start points. Some people start races all the way in the back while other people start races in the middle, all the way at the beginning. It just doesn't matter, but you can't compare your life to somebody else because everybody has their difficulties in life, you know. Everybody's problems are valued at the same 
thing. You know, you can't get mad at somebody that, you know, you know, a lot of people always say, well, you shouldn't feel bad because there's people always, there's always somebody out there that is worse than you. And yes, that is true. But then again, that doesn't mean we should tell people just to shun their problems. That is true. But also, there's somebody out there going through worse than what that person is going worse than you. So we're always taught to like just hold in our feelings, which sucks, you know. And I was just doing that, holding in my feelings, being upset, being sad, thinking like I have no friends. I'm not attending my graduation. A lot of people are like, why are you attending your graduation? You know, that's the most fun. Oh, I'm crying, sorry. <laughs> so it's like that's the most fun part of you know you're you're a senior, you're post a senior graduation. It's a fun part of your life. But to me, I don't have that many close friends. I I just don't. And to me, graduation seems kind of. I never care. You know, I do have social anxiety, and I don't want to be around all those people. And you know. My family probably cares for my graduation more than I care for my graduation. But, you know, I didn't want to be around seeing all those friends take pictures. And I'm just thinking, like, you know, I have nobody to take pictures with. I It was going to be kind of a bitter moment, a bittersweet moment. So, you know, since I was graduating early, I was like, you know, I just want to jump into my dream. And, you know, graduation doesn't mean that much to me. It just doesn't, you know. And to other people it does, but not to me. It just doesn't matter. And you know, I think I was kind of hoping for friends. And I was like, well, maybe I do need a friend around here, or you know, just somebody. You know, and I had to think, yeah, Nisha, everybody needs somebody, but nobody needs everybody. You could honestly do anything you really put your mind into. And a lot of people think, oh, you know, she's just with that positivity crap. No, I am dead serious like if you really try hard you can do whatever you want to do and just because you fail does not mean it's the end of it failure there's no such thing as failure failure is a step closer to succeeding because once you take that first so you know you know what not to do and if you fail again you know what not to do on top of the other stuff not to do so it is literally stepping stones to success there have people that have been failing a million times not really a million but you know hundreds of times and you know, you don't know when that time comes when it's your chance. You could have been failing, failing a million, hundred times. Let's say you fell 99 times and you said, I'm not going for that hundred time. I just can't, I have to stop. But you never know when your open door is there. That hundred time could have been the time you could have been successful in whatever you want to do. So like I said, I preach the same thing on my channel do you so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do me hopefully about a plan my plans i hope to be able to be living in korea next year um my plan is to go to language um the language institution and to be able to get 100 percent fluent in korean so i can then attend don't sorry so i can then attend my university i want to be able to study film and when I be able to study film, I want to be able to have my own movies out before I'm 25. I want this is my dream. I want to do all of this before I'm 25. By the time I'm 25, I should at least have a movie out. 